Okay, so I'm at work today and I got this crazy idea to call a customer who's got some pretty cool cars and uh, see if he'll let me uh, in his yard and fill, uh, film some of the cars. Uh, he agreed to it uh, unexpectedly. I didn't think he would, but he agreed to it. So I'm just going to head over there now and uh, trust me, you're going to love this. <laughs> Okay, we're just pulling up to his house. It's a very nice house uh, and you don't expect uh, what he has in the back of his house uh, to be there. Uh, it's a very nice place and uh, let's take a look as we come back. Okay, let's go see this. How you doing Art? This is Art guys. As you can see he's enjoying retired life. Yeah, watching TV in we the middle sometimes. of the day. Some of us work, we but work uh, fortunately for you, you don't. Uh, but yeah, if you don't mind, uh, let's take a walk around this place. Well, I see got, some interesting things just cultures, from here. Yeah. yeah, maybe you can start us uh, wherever you think we should start. Oh. With the duster in the garage, maybe? Oh, and then we'll start with out? the first longest one I've had. All yeah, right. let's start with that one. Well, that's... Uh... That's my baby. That's your baby. Well, that's my first car. Bought it at 19 years old. Really? What year was that? 71. In 1970. So you've owned this car from 1971? Yeah, which is about, what, 48 years? And it's still in this kind of condition? Uh, yeah, a little dusty, but... Well, yeah. I'm not worried about a little dust. Yeah, it's uh, even got the bill of sale for it. Wow, that'd be interesting. Do you have that? I do. You've never seen it, I take it. No. No, I've seen this car drive by a few times, but I don't think I've uh, seen it up close. A few close. people have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I keep it in here. I used to be a fan of car shows, but I'm not really a fan of car shows anymore. And it, uh, as you can see, there's the bill of sale from let's, uh, uh, let's put this like Pajot that. Chrysler in Amherstburg. Wow. And the uh, total out the door price. 3500 am i seeing that right yeah 3502 wow and it was november the 21st 71 nice which was actually almost for my birthday huh. so i've had it a long time and it was even in a mag way back in the day in the 90s if i can find it no kidding yeah there it is there it is yeah 12 second duster original owner it looks pretty much like that today. Oh, so obviously it, it's stock running 12 second or you've modified? Oh, there's some mods too. There's it. some yeah. mods too. Yeah. Okay. But it does run 12s. Right now it, it runs about 13, 20s. Yeah, which is still pretty damn fast. That's sure. So faster than most cops. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that, guys. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's just a, one of those things. But yeah, Look at the interior, the white pretty interior. Pretty original. White interior. I has this been restored at all, Art, or is this the way no, it was? It's never, really, never, never been, been restored. restored. Nice. It's original dash, original carpeting, original headliner with a couple mice poops in it. But it, well, it's that's... never been restored. It's been painted uh, twice, and this paint job was done by County, and it is uh, in the 88, uh, 88, so it's 30 years old. This paint job's 30 years old. This paint wow, job's 30 very years good. Old, yeah. There it is, 340. And it's an original 340. Original to the car. Original to the car, matching number engine. Nice. Yeah, I kept it all this time. Actually, I just put the engine back in a uh, couple, three years ago. It was sitting out of the car for 40 years. Really? And what did you have in the car? Other motors. Another, other, other motors. Other, other 340s. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, you this, wanted to keep the original. This is the original, and uh, I rebuilt it complete with brand new uh, Mopar parts and crank and uh, rods, pistons, and... All the good stuff, and it's better than it came out of the factory. Wow. Guaranteed, nice. it's better than it came out yeah, of the factory. Yeah, yeah. I went to Detroit Dragway with it at 6,000 miles, and it only ran 1470s. Hmm. And this same motor runs 1320s, and it's still a street driving with cars. Wow, so, nice. So, impressive. I guess they make better parts today. Yeah, impressive. The rallies. Factory rallies. Factory yeah. rallies. Yeah, Hemi orange, white stripe, white interior. Beautiful. I've only actually seen one other car that has this same color code and uh, or uh, color code with interior and white stripe most of them are black stripes black interior yeah 
And yeah. uh, that's when the car was painted, so I don't know if you can read the year, but uh, it was for the 88 uh, Nationals, yep. uh, Mopar Nationals down in Columbus. Very nice. Yeah. That's, well, that's so, my favorite so far, Art. So far, yeah. <laughs> one out of one, right? <laughs> Let's see what you well, got hidden here. this one here is a 69 Dart, and this is a California car, and it's called actually a California uh, Sport Special with a 340 in it. I've got the engine out right now because uh, I'm going through it. Uh, but it's a clean car. Top Gun actually painted this one. What are you doing with this car? You're just going to put it back together? I'm and... going to put it back together and probably uh, re I, I built this car 20 years ago. Oh, you I did, eh? Got, I just got it back uh, to uh, freshen it all up. We're starting and, to get a little uh, sprinkle, so I apologize. Yeah. And so, yeah, it'll probably be... I can't keep them all. So yeah. It'll probably be... Uh, sold eventually um, This year's the 50th anniversary of the 69 darts and Chrysler's at Carlisle was just uh, uh, Over last weekend and they um, they were honoring the 69 models. So it would have been a good car to take to the uh, Chrysler's uh, uh, Carlisle <laughs> didn't have it finished as you can see. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. And, and this one here. This one here is a 64 Plymouth Belvedere and it is um, uh, a pretty decent uh, shaped car. It came from uh, out east. And, uh, uh, it was a, a the story I got. I got all the paperwork on it. It was on a naval base out east, and it came here about uh, 15, 20 years ago through Niagara Falls. Ended up in Amherstburg, and um, ended up McGregor, and that's when I bought it. So I painted it, and this is as far as we got. Yeah. But I wanted to make a Max Wedge uh, car out of this. Nice. With the uh, I have a 426 wedge for it. Uh, projects, uh, most of them aren't quite done. Yeah. Because if you uh, if you finish them all, then you got nothing. Then you to got do, nothing right? to do. What do you, yeah. This, what do you do in your retirement, right? Here's where I bet a lot of stuff happens. Oh yeah. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta think somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is, I acquired this car uh, about five about five years four or five years ago, '63 Plymouth Sport Fury, and um, have a look at it. Yeah, that's a nice. What uh, year did you say? What? Sorry. It's a '63. '63 Sport Fury. Nice. And it uh, it was wow, built in like the late really... '80s as a pro street car. Uh, does have a, a big block in it. Had a 440 in it. Now it's a, I I got a 383 in it. Temporarily until the 440 comes off the uh, engine stand. Ah. And it's a uh, it's a pretty clean car. It was uh, when that when the uh, pro street era was on. This, this, that's when this was built in the 80s, in the 80s. 80s early 90s, at, up at the Toronto show. Um, it runs, uh, it, it's run 1090s, 11.0s. Really? Wow. So that, I'm getting used to it. I'm, I'm liking these cars, 63, 4s, and 5s, a lot more yeah. because I've had lots of dusters and kind of tired of dusters. Tired of the dusters, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow, you can tell this is a race car. Yeah, it's got the toys in it. Uh, and note. actually, I'm pretty happy with this 383. It just dipped into the high 11s. Yeah, that's uh, a little 383 car. That's moving. And, Very nice. Uh, had a little mishap at Grand Bend last weekend. One of my wheels uh, fell off. On this car? Oh, yeah. Broke some studs. And and uh, good thing nothing happened. Oh, didn't get hurt, Didn't hit anything. That's good. But, you know, stuff like that does happen. Yeah, it happens. It but, happens. Uh, Continue on with cars, or you want to go into the shop? Well, let's uh, let's continue on with cars for a minute, and then we'll head into the shop. I see a couple more dusters over here. Yeah, we got them all over the place. Yeah. This one here is a nice California car as well. Another 340 duster. 340 wing car. Um, it's really nice body and shape. It's not done as well, but it's painted. Yeah. And I got all the interior, and I got I got all the parts. The engine's on the stand. Um, you know, you, you move a little slower in retirement. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. That's okay. Like you said, you don't want to run out of things to do, right? Yeah. Let me take a look around. It's, it's a really nice. Oh, it car. does have the 340 on the hood. It's got the uh, 340 wedge, wedge. Yeah, 340 wedge package. Nice. Race mirrors, um, hood pin tie downs. Again, it's been sitting. At least it's out of the weather, but it is dusty. Yeah. And it's a clean. Clean car. Yeah, very. I would like to finish it. I'd like to finish them all. Floors look solid. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice. I've had this car for 25 years. 
Oh, you have. I You've have. had this for 25 years. I've had it for 25 years. Okay, you're moving really slow then, Art. Well, there's other things that got in the middle, got in the way. Life. <laughs> I also had a Cuda that I was I played with for a few years, and I sold it to my uh, nephew, and he races it now. Barracuda? Yeah, yeah what year was that, that one? It was a 73, and I cloned it as a double AR, 70 double AR. Okay, cool. And uh, he's enjoying it. <coughs> You're familiar with this car. Wow, I've seen this car, yeah. Yeah, I've seen this car. Now, this car's won a lot of races. Yeah, I'm a sure. a couple championships. Windsor weekend three times in the in the uh, uh, twenty year time. Um, it, it's gone, it's gone through uh, many tracks. Yeah. And unfortunately, it it uh, met the wall once. But uh, it's going to get back back uh, this year. Hopefully, uh, we'll make it to Windsor weekend again with it. This is the one that we've dealt with an alignment issue on this one at the shop, I believe, and. Uh, you were saying earlier that uh, we're going to have to get it back and do her again. Yep, because uh, Chuck Fram wants me to bring it out and see if I can do it again. Oh, is that right? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, that was well, it. then we better fix it up right if, <laughs> if Chuck's saying that. And I need your opinion. Do you like that wheel? No. I don't either. Yeah, I was looking at that, <laughs> no, and I didn't want to say cool. anything, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this wheel here. No, it, it was just one of those things, eh, do I like that look? <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> And then this is your yard, obviously, oh, where you, you keep all the you goodies. Want to come and... back here, but we got some we got some other specimens back here too, you know. I assume this is all Mopar stuff, obviously. Well, it's, uh, it's Mopar stuff that that I can't I can't throw away. Yeah. Like yeah. Some gotta... of it's not that useful, but I can't throw it away. Yeah. And here's some spare parts cars. Oh, lots of parts cars. Wow, Challenger. Seventy-one Challenger. Seventy-one Challenger. Yeah. It's uh, really going to be a parts car. Yeah. Everything back here is a little bit. Was it purple? Uh, it was uh, butterscotch um, yellow, original color. Butterscotch. Butterscotch yellow. yellow? That's kind of a that's kind of a rare color for seventy one. Yeah. Um, sixty six three hundred convertible. Sixty six three hundred convertible too. No convertible. kidding. Convertible. Oh, wow. I wish somebody would fix it up. I don't have any love for the car, but it's a convertible and it's a three hundred. Yeah, bucket seats, automatic on the floor. It's got the tilt telescopic wheel. No uh, you know, if you if you like big cars, yeah, that's a that's the one. It's worth doing. Yeah. Back there, unfortunately, it it's uh, see another rare car, which I've had for many years. It's a '71 Charger RT 440. Oh, no kidding! And the original engine transmission's in it, but the uh, floorboards and torsion bars are through the floor. Okay. So I have a donor car for that that isn't started yet. Right. <laughs> Another and, project. And then this car, which is uh, a 79 300 as well, the only year that it was built in the Cordoba body. I was going to say, it looks like a Cordoba. It is a Cordoba, but it's a 300 model. Um, leather seats, machine dash, and all the machine parts, council on the floor, uh, red leather. And it's got the uh, police interceptor package, which oh, is the nice. uh, E58. And um, yeah, that particular car with that package is rare. Uh, it's the only car other than a, a cop car that took the 240 kilometer um, uh, Speedo in it. Nice. Um, so I, it's a shame to see it here because it's the only, we built them in Windsor. And there's only 3,100 built, 31 and change. 2,700 and change went to the state, so we're only left with approximately 400 Canadian cars. And out of those 400, I don't know the figures on it, this package, because a lot were 318 and, and two-barrel cars, but this has got the interceptor engine, so. Right. It's fairly rare, and that's why I don't like to see it sitting here, but. Yeah. I'm only one man. You're only <laughs> one. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, if you're wondering, Art's retired from Chrysler Corporation, so when he said, we built it, it's because he actually probably had a hand in it. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a yard. It goes back pretty far. Uh, it goes back, well, it goes back a long way as far as the farm goes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's your farm out there as well? Yeah, all the way to the trees. Huh? All the way to the trees. Wow. Uh, I'd like to fill it all up with Mopars. Yeah. <laughs> How many acres you got back there? It's 25 here. 25? Yeah. That's, That's a lot of cars. 76 Imperial right wow. there. Wow. 440 and it's uh i just acquired it for the drivetrain obviously i'm not going to drive it yeah yeah and uh you need spare parts when you race because sometimes 
Things happen. Stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been to places over the States where the guys, you know, a collector has two, three hundred cars in one one yard. And uh, that always amazed me. So. Yeah. You're trying to acquire two or three hundred well, cars. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I just, I get sentimental about Mopars and I don't like to scrap them. So. Yeah. And this is an old dually that we used to use. And it still runs a 400 big block. Um, don't know what to do with it, but it still runs. Somebody's looking for a dually. Nice fixer upper. Yeah. What year is that one? It says 79 as well. It's 79. got the same front end as the Little Red Express. Okay. 79. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's a good pulling truck, but, you know, nice. I've, got, I've got a new one, so I don't need it. Yeah, you don't need that anymore. Yeah. What's that front end clip sitting there? That's a 64 Dodge. Um, it was a two-door hardtop, but it's uh, it's uh, com we used it for parts. It's been the roof's been cut off. The uh, we used the quarters uh, in some pieces, so it just parts car. It's not it's not good for anything else but parts. But parts, yeah. Can't fix them all. We'd love to. But... Yeah, yeah. And then of course all my vans and storage vehicles are all full of parts is that okay so the vans are just for storage yeah yeah i'm not collecting <laughs> you're vans. not you're not building vans i'm not collecting vans i'm not <laughs> there's they're parts <laughs> lots yeah. of them very cool yeah you've got some back there i see what you're saying yeah all those two or three full, back there full of stuff because see uh you know our winters are a little tough you don't have some place to put everything yeah unfortunately and these are full yeah these trailers i figured they would be yeah, you're looking for something. I usually get calls from all over. I've been in this hobby for what 40, I don't know, 48, 50 years. So, yeah, people get to know who you are and they you, start calling, right? Yeah, you accumulate. I just sold an engine yesterday. Yeah, so this is where all the hard work is. This done. is the shop. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, no wonder we don't see any of your money at the shop, Art. You do. Uh -oh. You've got to hoist and do all your stuff here. <laughs> but I can't do alignment, so. You can't do alignment, so we'll see you for that. Yeah. No, Very I, nice. I build my own engines. I build. I build my own transmissions, mm -hmm. rear ends. I, I build. I build pretty much the whole car, but just fading out into it a little bit. You know. Yeah. This is a Hemi transmission for a friend of mine. Is that right? He's got a, a '65. Um, uh, Belvedere, I believe. It's in uh, it's in paint, and the Hemi itself is at uh, uh, Machine Shop in Windsor, Dennis Thibodeaux. Oh, very interesting. And uh, yeah, so the Hemis are still around, eh? They're still around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, very uh, cool. Any interesting engines or what well, you got? What you got on this stand well, here? We do have a couple little things. Um, uh, this this is an engine, a 360 Magnum that I have to finish for a, a friend of mine. Also, he just dropped it off the other day. Uh, this oh. this one here is for that. Uh, this one here is for the um, yellow duster. Okay. A California car, the 340. That's the engine for it. Um, oh, for the yellow duster that we seen earlier. Duster, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's all. It's actually a stroker with um a brand new mopar crank been completely balanced it's going to have eagle rods and uh diamond pistons nice um it's that's a really nice piece uh, i hate to even put it in there because it's going to be a little a little stout yeah <laughs> yeah but it is what it is you got to use up all the parts right yeah and this this is my uh max wedge oh motor. nice very nice it, uh, it's not quite finished i haven't uh, decided on a cam size yet and that's going in the 63 uh, the blue fury the blue one we were looking at yeah yeah so very uh, nice I'm, I'm this here should be in the mid tens fairly easily with the nice. aluminum mopar heads how much does that car weigh uh the blue one it's got to be a little heavier no well it looks heavy and, and it is uh from the factory it's around 35 50. But well, okay, so a, not too bad. Thirty-five fifty is not too but bad. But today, with all the Lexan in the car, yep. uh, the windshield is the only glass. It's got no cranks or anything. And the hood and the deck lid is fiberglass. Got it down to 3,000 even. Wow, that's Corvette material. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> right around. Pounds in the big car is pretty good. So. Yeah, and this motor, what do you think in horsepower? This thing's going to put out. Uh, guess just your best yeah, guess. No, we're yeah, we're shooting for five hundred. Five hundreds or so um, in a three thousand pound car. It's going to be a rocket. Car. Yeah, well, it should be ten fifties. Ten fifties. Yeah, wow, it should be enough for ten fifties. Very nice. Um, and you know what? I'm happy there. Yeah, I'm happy at oh, 1050s. Yeah. Oh yeah, you getting the tens, you're good. So. Very interesting. More engines down here. I oh, see. we got lots. Of, that's a spare stroker, uh, 416 cubic inch, 340 block. Huh. That is a spare for the Red Duster. Okay. So it's always good to have a spare. Yeah. Because you never that. know when. Look at like you're, you've things got, happen. You've got blocks up there. You've got transmissions all uh, over. I, I'm pretty full. This shop used to be neat at one time. Well, I mean, it just and, means uh, you're busy. It just uh, look yeah, at all the blocks here. Things, Bear things blocks. accumulate, and like I said, I'm not one to throw much away unless it's absolutely no good. Yeah. But I've got I, the last time I counted, I, I had 27 engines in the shop. <laughs> no kidding. And Some uh, more transmissions there's a dozen here. Transmissions there. Yeah. Is I do that is one of my things that I do uh, mostly. I, I build engines for myself. I just, once in a while, you know, buddies need help on on uh, putting something together. But uh, other than that, and up there, yes, there's probably three cars up there. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah, All there's, pieces. Uh, there's, there's duster parts. There's Challenger parts and Charger parts. Um, and uh, like I said, this garage. My dad and I built this garage back in uh, 88, 89. Wow. And uh, him and I with a couple of friends help. And this place was big. I thought it was big, you know, and it... Uh, it got small quick got with all your stuff quick, in here. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be liquidating probably in the near future. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Can't, can't do them all, right? Yeah. So. Very nice, sir. Well, this has been... Uh... Quite some. I, honestly, I've been here before. I know I have uh, for a quick visit once, and and I did not understand how much you actually have of this stuff. I didn't really get to go in the back here or anything, and uh, it's impressive, man. <coughs> this has been quite a hobby for you. Uh, it's it is it's actually been a an overwhelming hobby because it just seems to get bigger now. We yeah. like to have the, the young guys. You know, there's less of them coming up into the hobby. Uh, it's if you can turn somebody onto the hobby then you yeah. don't have to throw all this away right in right then yeah but no it just got bigger for me and i actually now it's time for me to downsize and get smaller get to, yeah <laughs> is yeah. what it is yeah uh, sand blaster back there as well very cool no wonder we don't see you much very yeah. good yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i said i don't do safeties uh, no yeah anyway. you'll need us for a few things but uh well, well it is a large hobby you know yeah. you have to go and to build your own stuff, to stay in the hobby economically, you have to. Yeah. You have to build a lot of the of stuff. Of course. Your own. Yeah, you can't. You can't you know, ship this out for everything. The, the businesses. No, but. no, but you can. This is something that would cost a fortune to have somebody do for you. So I mean, that's your trailer you take to the yeah, races. Yeah. yeah, that's the car Truck hauler. That, yeah. That uh, I'm going to be using it uh, next week. Uh, yeah. Down in Norwalk, Ohio, there's a big uh, monster Mopar meet down there okay so we're uh gonna go down there and uh, yeah the golf cart fits in there and the race car and, nice uh, kind of pretty much self-sufficient and that's uh that's and that's that's what you uh your goal is to have fun with this yes, stuff, right. right yeah for sure yeah that's awesome well i suppose i better get back to work and uh I appreciate it, Art. This has been great, man. I, I could spend hours here just looking around. I, really, I could. So, appreciate uh -oh. it very much, Art. There's, there's a money your call. Calls, okay. There's your call. You better go sell an engine or something. Thanks. Thank you very much, Thanks, Art. Guys. We'll talk to you, man. Okay. Oh, tell me that wasn't a pretty cool uh, visit. Um, actually, I had to cut it short a little bit. I wanted to do a little longer, but it started raining, so uh, we stopped the video. We went inside the garage, and he actually showed me a few more things that I wish I would have had on camera, but you get the picture. He's a Mopar guy, and uh, he knows his stuff, as you can tell. So I really appreciate that, Art, for letting me uh, do that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if, you, if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and remember, please subscribe. Help me get this channel off the ground. See you on the next one. Peace.